you know, Napoleon lost the war. But what the world gained was the first comprehensive understanding of Egypt, both ancient and modern. We're standing here with uh, one of the largest volumes in the description of Egypt, publication from the early 19th century that was commissioned by the French government after Napoleon's attempt to uh, conquer Egypt. You know, Napoleon, he had imperialist ambitions. He wanted to act like an ancient conqueror, and he often fashioned himself as an ancient conqueror. And so he and an army of over 30,000 men and 150 savants that were architects, artists, engineers, and surveyors went to Egypt in 1798 to conquer Egypt. So the purpose of the description of Egypt was to create an encyclopedic record of the entire region. The three main topics were the antiquities, the natural history, and the modern state. There were 294 engravers who engraved all of the drawings that were brought back from Egypt, which included everything from insects to stones to the biggest, greatest pyramids. This volume here is what we call an elephant folio because it really is the largest size of a book in our collection. And a book of this size and the publication project of this size really could only be done by someone of Napoleon's stature and Napoleon's great vision to outdo everyone else in every way possible. The only way that this set of volumes could have been published was if the French government paid for it and that's exactly what happened. They had trouble selling volumes because they were big and heavy and expensive. Um, they made a special uh, piece of furniture so that the set could be stored because as you can clearly see it's very difficult to handle. It's more than a coffee table book because it's bigger than a coffee table and it's a fantastic um, monument to the history of publishing in the West.